Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2022 statistics. Today we will discuss about question number 60 which is related to the type 1 error and the power test. We will again solve this question within a 15 second trick so that you may understand how you can apply this in the future examination. You can simply follow my telegram link as well as my YouTube channel Dr. Harishkar for finding the various previous year videos on the probability and statistics. So let's start with this question. What is that? Your target is to find the value of 16 alpha plus of this, where alpha is my type 1 error. So let me tell you what is the type 1 error is. There is a probability of the variable x lies in the rejected region provided h0 is my true, while gamma is my power test, which is nothing but my probability of the x lies in the rejected region provided h1 is my true. So that is the simple trick behind that. Now if you look about the given statement, xi's are my Bernoulli distributions with unknown parameter theta. h0 is my 1 by 4 and h1 is greater than. h0 is rejected so you can define the critical rejected reason. If and only if this value that is x1, x2, x3 and x4 greater than 2. That is very simple. What is given to you? xi follows my Bernoulli distribution with parameter theta. So it means sum of x i is will follows my binomial distribution with parameter 4 and here. So therefore what is the meaning of that? It means your w complement that is a critical reason is my if I consider this number as say y. So it means y is my greater than 2. So I can substitute this value here. This is the probability y is greater than 2. What is the h0 is? Theta is my half. Now y is my here n is my 4 so you can write this number as y is 3 and y is equal to 4. So I can write this value as 4c3 of p is my 1 by 4 and q is my 3 by 4 plus 4c4 1 by 4 is to power 4 and anything power 0. So 4c4 is 4 it will be cancelled out so 3 upon 4 raised to power cube plus 4 is, 4 is 1, so 1 upon 4 is to power 4. Now similarly you can find the value of this. Again it will be my y is greater than 2, h1. Now we find the value at gamma is half. So it means theta is my half. So again I can write as a 3 and 4, so it can be written as 4c3 half raised to power 3 half raised to power 1. 4c4 half raised to power 4 half raised to power 0. 4c4 is 4, so it's 4 upon 2 raised to the power 4 and 4c1 is 4, 1 upon, so the answer is 5 of this. So what is the answer of this? 16 alpha. So what is the 16 alpha? 16 times of this. So it is uh, 4 into 16 plus 1 upon 16 into 16 plus 7 times of this. That means 35 upon 16. So you can see it will be cancelled out 3 by 4 plus 1 by 16 plus 35 upon 16. So what is that? I can write this number as 16. It is a 12. So what is the answer of this? Is 12 plus 36. That is my 48 upon 16. So the right answer of this problem is my 3. So there is a need of some little bit calculation about the binomial distribution. But the rest of the part is very simple. You can simply remember this type 1 and the type 2 error. R. So this is the way you can solve this question in, in a simple manner and I hope you can simply learn the trick. We will see the rest of the question 61 and 62 again with the help of the shortcuts in this next videos. Till then you can simply follow my playlist GERG statistics channel name here for finding the various previous year video with the help of shortcut tricks. I hope you can like share and comment these videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.